Hey. Hey. I'm, uh, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. Mona told me to tell you she misses you. I'm sure she missed you more. That's not a thing anymore. Oh. Sorry. Sophie, I'm the one who should be apologizing. You and Mona are best friends, and I totally blew that up with this sneaking around and taking her away from you. It, it wasn't cool, and I'm really sorry. Wow. Thank you. You look surprised. I am. Honestly, I, I didn't think you'd ever apologize. I deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I should apologize, too. Michael was able to write that article because of things I told him about us. About you. I'm sorry, Nick. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. It's not like you knew he would put that in the article. And I know you would never deliberately go behind someone's back like that. You good? Sophie, hey. hey. Sorry, I, I know you said you needed time, but I'm glad to see you. You too. So, and did you need something? A new true crime podcast wreck, maybe? <laughs> um. No. I'm pretty sure you've scarred me for life already. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, uh, I've given it a lot of thought. And I wanted to tell you that I've made a decision about homecoming and us. <laughs> Who's guy you smiling like that? Is it Hazel? We've been texting nonstop since we met. <laughs> It's exciting. I know. Hazel's just awesome. <laughs> Who's Hazel? It's Allie's new friend. New friend? I wish her luck. A friendship with you should come with a warning label. a little gentler next time. So I was thinking we could meet at my house. Unless you want to get ready at yours. I haven't met your mom yet. Um, I was thinking that we'd meet at the dance, actually. But... Hey, Juan. Could you give me and Lydia the room? Uh, that's okay. Uh, Dr. A, anything you have to say, Juan can hear. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, um, we got the test results back from the urine test you took this morning, and they were unexpected. I can't believe you already replaced me. What, did you give her the other half of the friendship necklace? What are you talking about? Hazel hasn't replaced you. And it shouldn't matter to you if I have new friends anyway. You're the one that said you never wanted to speak to me again. Yeah, because you broke my trust and you made out with my boyfriend. That's not what happened. How is that not what happened? I was there and I saw it. Okay, guys, why don't we just take a deep breath? There's more to the story than you know, Bianca. So tell me. 
I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I just can't. But nothing happened between me and Cody, I promise. Girl, stop. Save it. Your promises mean nothing to me. The fact that you still can't tell me the truth and be a real friend makes it worse. I know you don't believe me, but I am being a real friend right now. No, you're not. You haven't been a real friend to anyone. You wouldn't know how to. Uh, Bianca, don't you think that was a little harsh? Oh, so suddenly you're an expert on friendship? Yeah, because I have other, better friends now. Like who? Ruth, for one. Ruth Fletcher? Like Gunner's Ruth? You two are seriously friends now? Yes, and guess what? Ruth actually asked how I'm doing. She cares about people other than herself. She cares about me. You know what? Maybe it is fine that you move on with Hazel. It's about time you suck the joy out of someone else's life. Now, I don't want you to be alarmed. The test results weren't bad. They just weren't consistent. Your numbers are all over the place, in, in a way I can't fully explain. If they keep fluctuating this way, well, we can't let you leave the hospital yet. Hopefully, in a few weeks, you'll be more stable, but not now. I can't stay here a few weeks. We have homecoming. Lydia. You can't take it back. You said we could go. We have all these plans. I have a dress. Tell her. Um, if Dr. Anderson thinks you staying here is what's best, then... <laughs> Oh, Lydia, I'm sorry. No. I really am. I know how disappointing this is. I'll go yeah. and check on her in a little while. What's up, dude? You look like you've just seen a ghost. No. no this, this is not real. This is not happening. No, it's not. This is all in your head. A symptom of the guilt you're feeling for putting me in this bed. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, you're my best friend. What? When I came into Junior's office, Allie was so scared. I had to help her. I didn't want you to hurt her either. I just wanted to get you off of her, okay? I was not going to hurt her, man. We were just playing a little cat and mouse game. No, you weren't. If you honestly believe that, then I don't know who you are anymore. Dude, chill. It is not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. I thought you were better than that. That you know better than that. Is this about Chelsea and the stupid breakup? Because there's no excuse for what you did to Allie. There's, there's no excuse for what you did. Okay? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Who you were in that office that night. That's not the kid I grew up with. And if it is, then who does that make me? I can't be friends with someone like that. Xander, you need to wake up. For real. Wake up. I don't even care what happens to me anymore, okay? Just wake up because you need to show people that you're not that guy. You've got a second chance here. Let's take some responsibility. To prove you're not a monster. And if you can't do that, then I'm, I have to walk. Because I've been given a second chance too, all right? I'm taking mine. Hi. Uh, you're a teen volunteer, right? Yeah, how can I help you? Great. Uh, do you know where Allie Graham is? Um, and you are? Oh, I'm sorry. I probably look like such a creep right now. I'm, uh, I'm her friend, Hazel. I'm just here to drop off a 
coffee. Oh, nice to meet you. Thanks. Uh, yeah, Ali was telling me today that the coffee here is so bad, and I was visiting my friend Ivan, so I figured I'd grab her a cup from Junior's. That girl's coffee order is seriously complicated, though. Oh, I know. I'm Bianca. I'm a friend of Ali's, or should I say former friend? Look, before you get too involved with her, I think you should know this. Allie's the worst person alive. I'm, s I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Allie will act like she's your best friend to your face and then behind your back she's a total snake. She's toxic. She stole my boyfriend and she'll steal yours too. So just be very careful. I wish someone had given me this warning. You okay, man? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. You don't look too good. Seriously, man, if you need to talk. Juan, I said I was fine, okay? Just, I gotta go. What's his problem? Beats me. Okay. Uh, how's Lydia? Uh, not good. Your mom just told her that she can't go to homecoming. Yeah, her last lab results were a little off. Ugh. Nothing scary, but enough to keep her in the hospital. God, that sucks. I feel terrible for her. Yeah, me too. Ugh. But that means we could go to homecoming together? As, as friends, I mean. If you want to. I can't, Juan. I'm going to homecoming with Michael. Right. time on Adelaide Jeffrey. It was almost like he was relieved. I'm sure he was just nervous. I really like her, but there's this other girl. Honest, best policy, trust me. It's time I told you the truth about what happened that night. My mom was lucky that her treatment plan worked. Was there another course of action that she could have tried? <laughs>